West Hollywood is known for being animal friendly and for being fashion forward. These clashing ideals have been highlighted recently as fashion retailers say the fur ban will hurt revenues and animal rights groups say it will be good for business. If you want to make money, embrace this. It's, it's going to happen one way or another. You might as well make a buck out of it. Embrace it. LCA investigator Brian Monell has been fighting animal cruelty for years. He says the ban won't harm the economy and that retailers can profit if they play off the animal-friendly angle. There will be so much money coming to the city because people are going to say, okay, this is the one place where I feel safe. I, this, this has got a good vibe. These people care about people. They care about animals. Monell says that as long as stores make compassion the fashion, they won't have to worry about losing business. But across town at the Avenues of the Arts, vintage store owner Sutomu Carton says that the fashion industry will not stand for the ban. Carton is the co-owner of Cillian's Vintage Apparel, which sells fur and leather among its fashion treasures. He understands the fight against animal cruelty, but says the ban will harm the struggling retail sector. The economy is, in, is not in good shape. If you look at up and down um, Robertson and Melrose and Beverly Boulevard, you're going to see lots of empty storefronts. He says customers do ask him for fur. In fact, research shows 46% of apparel stores in West Hollywood carry fur, with 7% saying they would move if the ban passed. That leaves West Hollywood with a question. Which is more important, animal rights or economic stability? For J507 News, this is Sarah Parvini reporting.